Hey there, want to know how to import Moda fabric into Electrical 8? Let's head to my quilt lab to find out. Hey there, if you're a big fan of Moda fabrics and EQ8, you want to stick around for this lesson. I love Moda fabric and the best part about it is their website gives you swatches that you can download directly into EQ8 to get your designing on. And if you're like me, you have a bunch of mode of fabric that you need to design with. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing you'll want to do is open an internet browser that you're comfortable with. I'm using Chrome at the moment, and I've gone to modafabrics.com. That's their website of all the mode of fabrics and all the designers. You'll see on the home page there at the top there is a little drop down menu called inspiration and resources. If you scroll down, you'll see one that says fabric downloads. We're going to click on that. And this will take you to the fabric downloads page. Now on this page, this is the list of all the mode of fabric from most recent to the past. So for instance, you'll even see swatches and collections that aren't even out yet. Uh, you can do lots of searching on this menu. You can search by the collection name. You can search by the style. So for instance, if you're looking for Christmas fabric or if you're looking for Ruby Star fabric, this is a great way to search. You can also search by designer. And there are a lot of designers for Moda. And you just hit go and it takes you to their page. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a big Janet Clare fan. That's all that blue fabric I showed you in the quilt behind me at the beginning. So we're going to download a Janet Clare fabric today. Shocker, I know. I click on her name, going to hit go, and it's going to take me to her page. Now this page lists all the fabric collections that she's ever designed for Moda. And you'll notice that she has a new collection coming out in February of 2022. Very excited about this. It's called To the Sea, and that's the collection that I'm going to download today. Before I get started, though, let me tell you a little bit about more about what you see here on this page. You'll see the collection name, the designer. You also see a column for swatch page. That's the promotional material that they usually send to stores or out with fabric reps so that people can buy them. Sort of a lookbook of the fabric. The next one is JPEG images. That's what we're going to click here on for a second. And then there's a third column for free patterns. Often there are free patterns associated with the collection line. So this is a great place to go if you're looking for a quick uh, quilt to put together. I'm gonna click here on underneath the JPEG images for To The Sea. And if you look down here to the lower left, it's downloading a zip file. Usually it's a big, a big file. So it just takes a couple of minutes for it to download depending on your collection. Okay, then it's finished downloading. So I'm gonna head over to my downloads folder and we'll see here it is under today's the jpeg to the scene now you'll notice that this file is zipped before we can get into the folder and move those images into eq8 we need to unzip the file so i'm going to do a right click and i'm going to hit extract all and i'm just going to extract it to the same folder and downloads And this could take a couple minutes too, it just depends on how many files are inside of it. Okay, we're finished extracting and you'll notice that it opens up with everything that was in that zipped file. So let me just maximize this and we can talk a little bit about what you see in the folder. They're gonna send you not just the swatches, but they're also gonna send you the promotional pictures. So for example, any, uh, if there's bundles of fat quarters, I'll send you a picture of that. If there's a jelly roll, if there's um, the, the five inch charms, all of that. There even will be pictures often of quilts made with this fabric as well. There's also gonna be a, another folder called ruler. And let me click on that real quick so you can take a look. Now you'll notice that these are all swatches too, but all of them will have a little ruler underneath of them. And let me just open a pretty one so we can take a look.
There it is. See, there's that pretty ruler along the bottom. That's telling, telling you how big that fabric is. Now, here's the thing is that, yes, this is a swatch, but we don't want to download these ruler swatches into EQ8 because EQ8 tiles the fabric um, next to each other. And if you put the ruler version in, you'll get little rulers tiled in your fabric design as well. So I'm actually going to back back up to that main folder. And I'm just going to delete this ruler file, this ruler folder right off the bat. So we don't need that. I'm also going to get rid of all this promotional stuff too, because we don't need that for EQ8. I'm going to get rid of the quilts Go back. And I'm also going to get rid of that swatch page. So all we have here are all of the swatches. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could do a right click on them and rename them into either the name that the designer calls them or a name that you prefer to, to recognize them. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave them with the numbers that they come with and uh, we'll head over to EQ8. All right. So you open up EQ8, you get to the main menu, which looks like this. I'm not going to open up any project right now because I'm just going to upload some fabric into my library. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to the top, I'm gonna hit libraries. I'm gonna scroll down to the fabric library. This will open up a window. This is where you go to search any of your default uh, fabrics or anything else you've added or any of those free EQ8 collections that come along every month. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit this button down here at the bottom called import. It's going to pop up a little message. Do I want to do from a project for or from file images? The image files is what I want. It's going to open up a, a window here and I need to go searching for that folder where I have all of that new collection. And I left it under downloads. There it is. So there's all the folders, what you want to do. If you want to click on it or do a control A to get all of them. Or if you only want to upload a few of them, you don't, you don't have to do the entire collection. But I'm going to do the entire collection for this lesson. So I have control all and I'm going to open those up. And it'll take a little time. When you start to import, it'll take a little time to import them. You'll see it calculating the color average. Don't be surprised if this takes a little while. Bigger, the more files you add, the more time it takes for the computer to process them and put them into the program. Once it's ready, it'll put all of them up there on the screen, the folder for you. So there they are. So right now at this point, if you wanted to start using them, you can select all the fabrics and add them to your sketchbook and you can just start designing. And that's a perfectly good way to get going. But what if you want to save this for later? What if you want to keep these fabric, this fabric collection around for a while? What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the fabrics and I'm going to hit copy. So now it's copied onto my clipboard and I'm going to go up here under my favorite fabrics. I'm going to click on that. You'll see here in the window, it'll bring up the file folder called My Favorite Fabrics. Now, when you first start downloading, you're not going to have any of these other subfolders. You'll want to do a, a right click and, and do an add library. I already have several libraries already created, downloads, downloads two. And I'm going to open up downloads two because I know I have empty styles or slots for new fabric collections. I'm going to hit style two. I'm going to put paste in here. and it's gonna paste them into this style. I'm gonna come back up to style two, I'm gonna do a right click and I'm gonna say modify the style. That's basically the rename. So I'm gonna call it C by Claire. Hit okay. And of course, the last thing you need to do is you need to hit save library. If you don't hit save library, it won't save it completely. Ask me how I know. Your fabrics have been saved. Okay. And there you go.
you've downloaded a Moda collection into EQ8 and you are ready to design. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below for me. If you're looking for other manufacturers that you'd like to see them turned into swatches, I'd love to help you out. Tell me which ones you're looking for. And as always, like and subscribe my page, share them with your friends, and I'll see you next time in my quilt lab. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.